Hey folks, it's Mike Gary from the MJ Hamsden Furniture Company and today I'm starting a new project. I'm going to be doing something a little different this time and I'll explain to you exactly what I'm going to do with this very beautiful wood I have right here. decided exactly how I want to orientate this yet. These are actually three separate pieces as you can see here. Uh, what this is, this is um, an antique redwood. This is reclaimed lumber. It's, um, oh, it's, it's at least a hundred years old, possibly more. This originally came from a water tank on a railroad. And, of course, uh, they haven't used water tanks on railroads for a long time. And this just has some you know, very nice uh, weathering to it. I like these dark lines. And the color of the wood is really nice. It gives me a, a nice relaxed feel. The, um, the outside surfaces here are, are really nice. It's got some holes. And it also has uh, some nail holes in it here and there. So what I'm going to be doing with this lumber is I'm going to make a tabletop. And the under the, uh, the base of the tabletop is going to be an antique uh, iron, I believe it's a sewing machine base. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't actually have the base here with me at the moment. I ripped the lighter board in half and I placed it on each side here and you know I kind of like that look and it gives me two rough edges which I'd like to keep uh, it has the black on there and that helps balance the black on the top especially when you're looking at it from the side and I have that on both ends this end isn't quite as black but um, it's pretty good it's not too bad but yeah, I think I'm going to leave these here. Um, I'm going to frame these and I'm going to trim these down enough so that I have uh, my finished dimensions. The person that I am making this table for has other pieces made out of reclaimed lumber and they have remnants of old white paint still on the wood and I put some paint on here to help this piece blend in with the other pieces that they already have and I'm also going to be working this piece in as well but once this is incorporated into this glue up I'm going to go over this with some sandpaper and I'll sand some of this white off so it won't really have the, a new painted look to it. It'll have an old look. Okay, I've got these worked into this glue up. And that's pretty much the look that my client's looking for. You see some of this white has already started to come off just from uh, going through the machine. So that's good. That started to tone down some. After I flattened the bottom side of this table out, I flipped it over. And if you remember earlier, I mentioned that I didn't want to do too much work on the top of this table because I want to keep the rustic look. Um, I want these boards to stay rough and I want this paint to stay here. So I don't want to smooth this out and lose all this detail.
I'm going to put a Danish oil on this for a finish. I want it to have a little bit of a sheen. Probably going to take several coats to build this up to where I want it. This, uh, this whole redwood just soaking it right in. 